The second spot in the semifinals is up for grabs today as we welcome two new teams to compete in Spokane's first televised civics competition, Civics Bowl. The Civics Bowl is made possible by Eastern Washington University, Canopy Credit Union, the Avista Foundation, the League of Women Voters of the Spokane area and of Washington, and by viewers like you. Hello and welcome to Civics Bowl. I'm your host and President and General Manager of KSPS, Gary Stokes. If you're just joining us this season, 10 Spokane area high school teams are answering hundreds of civics related questions prepared by volunteers from the Spokane branch of the League of Women Voters. Let's check out the bracket. Last week, Lewis and Clark snagged the first spot in the semifinals. So who will it be today? Either the community school or Ferris High School. Let's meet each team now. Community school, start us off. Hi, my name is Aster. Hi, my name is Avery. Hi, I'm David. Hi, I'm Sierra. And we want to also welcome the community school's alternates, Eden and Everest, and their coaches, Dave Egley and Chelsea Duvall. And now, Ferris High School. Hi, I'm Maddie. Hi, I'm Jake. Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Miles. And in the audience, we have Ferris alternate, Anaketh, and their coach, Mara Biscoff. Let's get this match started. In this round, I'll ask a toss-up question to all players. You must wait until I finished reading the question, then you can buzz in to answer. Whichever team answers the toss-up question correctly will receive a bonus question. All questions in this round are worth 10 points. There is no deduction for wrong answers. You are allowed to collaborate with your teammates only on the bonus question. Teams, are you ready? Let's begin. Who is the current governor of Washington State? Jake. Jay Inslee. Correct. Here's your bonus. What term is Jay Inslee serving as Washington's governor? Uh, fourth. Third. Here's your toss-up. The authority for Washington State's executive branch is fragmented when compared with the executive authority given to the U.S. President. How does Washington's executive branch of government differ? <phone rings> Emily. There's a lieutenant governor. That is incorrect. Other team? Yes. <laughs> The Washington State Constitution places executive authority in an executive department made of multiple officials individually elected by voters. And now, your guest presenter. Hi, I'm Washington State Representative Marcus Riccelli. I represent Washington State's third legislative district, which is right in the heart of Spokane. Just as the duties of the federal legislative branch are outlined in the U.S. Constitution, many of my duties as a state representative are outlined in the Washington State Constitution. Here's your question related to this document. In what two ways can the Washington State Constitution be amended? It can be amended by the legislature and it can also be amended by initiative. That is incorrect. Ferris? Maddie? It can be amended by the legislation through an amendment brought up in the legislation or through a vote of all the legislative districts. Also incorrect, an amendment can be proposed by a two-thirds vote of both the Senate and the House and ratified by voters. A constitutional convention can be proposed by the legislature and approved by the voters. All right, here's your next toss-up. Which amendment to the U.S. Constitution requires that state legislative districts be drawn on the basis of population? <phone rings> Maddie. The 24th. That is incorrect. Community school. 12th Amendment? 14th Amendment, 14th Amendment. Okay, here's your next toss up. There are three common forms of city government. Name two. <phone rings> Emily. Municipal, uh, mayor, and city council. That is incorrect. Community school. <phone rings> Strong mayor and also like commissioners. That is correct. Here's your bonus. Which type is used in the city of Spokane? Strong mayor. That is correct. 
Here's your next toss-up. What is the basic organization of the mayor city council form of city government? Emily. A mayor is elected along with city council members. That is correct. And here's your bonus. Name one way the organization of a city council city manager form of government is different. Um, there's no elected mayor. That is incorrect. The mayor and city council are the city's legislative body. The mayor's authority would be that of a weak mayor. Mayor and mayor may not be elected by the voters directly. Council elects one of their members to be mayor. The city council appoints the city manager who is the chief executive of the city. Here's your next toss up. Article two, section one of the US Constitution is known as the vesting clause. In whom is executive power vested? David. The president and the executive branch. That is correct. Here's your bonus. Chief of State is one of the President's many roles. Name three others. So he's Chief Diplomat, the Chief Legislator, and Chief Citizen. That is correct. Here's your toss-up. How many Presidents have served more than two terms? David. That is correct. Here's your bonus. Who was the only President to serve more than two terms? Franklin D. Roosevelt. That is correct. Here's your next toss-up. What constitutional amendment limits a president to serving only two terms? Sierra? The 22nd. That is correct. Here's your bonus. True or false? The 22nd Amendment limits a president to serving eight years in office. False. False is correct. Here's your next toss-up. Hi, I'm Vanessa Waldreff, the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Washington. Here's your question. Each of the 15 executive departments that make up the president's cabinet is headed by a secretary, except one. Which department is that? Emily? The Department of Justice. That is correct. And here's your bonus. The Attorney General heads the Department of Justice. Who is the current U.S. Attorney General? By the way, this person is also my boss. Uh, Merrick Garland. That is correct. And that wraps up this round. Great job, both teams. After round one, it's Community School 80 and Ferris 40. And we'll be back in a moment to get to know the players and play the head-to-head -head round. Here's the answer to last week's question. Near the framers' signatures at the end of the U.S. Constitution, there is a glaring misspelling of which state? Massachusetts, Virginia, Pennsylvania, or New York? The correct answer is C, Pennsylvania. Alexander Hamilton wrote Pennsylvania beside Benjamin Franklin's name, but omitted the second N. No one corrected it then, and it hasn't been corrected since. The Constitution is on display in the National Archives Building in Washington, D.C. All four pages are displayed behind protective glass framed with titanium. To preserve the parchment's quality, the cases contain argon gas and are kept at 67 degrees Fahrenheit with a relative humidity of 40%. Stay tuned. This week's question is coming up later in the show. Now it's time to get to know our players a little better and let them show off their schools. We've asked each school to produce a video for Civics Bowl. Let's start with the video from the community school.
thank you from our friends from the community school. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to ask you your class year in school and your favorite subject, starting with Aster. I'm a senior and my favorite subject is theater. Avery? I am a junior and my favorite subject is science. David? I am a senior and my favorite subject is social studies. And Sierra? Uh, I'm a senior and my favorite subject is English. Thank you very much, community school. And now it's Ferris' turn. Spokane South Hill, and named after prominent Spokane civics leader Joel E. Ferris. Ferris High School has been educating students for over 60 years. Our athletic teams wear the scarlet and silver and train state of the art facilities. Ferris is well known for its excellent fine arts program. Our band, orchestra, choir, and theater students are part of a regional, state, and national winning tradition. And when the Saxons are victorious, we ring the victory bell. Ferris is home to the district's newcomer center with students from around the world. With 1,600 students filling up our classrooms and hallways, it's pretty easy to get caught up in sport. However, above everything, Saxons put each other first, as their motto states. I belong, you belong, and we belong. Good luck, Saxons! Come on, Saxons! Come on, Saxons! Come on, Saxons! And now it's time to meet the Ferris team. Same question to you, what's your class year and your favorite subject in school, starting with Maddie? I'm a junior and my favorite subject is math. Jake? I'm a junior and my favorite subject is math. Emily? I'm a junior and my favorite subject is music. And Miles? I'm a junior and my favorite subject is also music. Thank you teams, we'll get you back to the action in a minute with the head-to-head -head round coming up next. It's time for the head-to-head -head round. In this round, we're in a new spot. That's because you'll go head to head one at a time. Just as with the last round, you must wait for me to finish asking the question, then you can buzz in to answer. Correct answers are worth 10 points, no deductions for wrong answers. And teams, you are not allowed to work together in this round. Let's remind everyone of the score. The community school 80, Ferris 40. Are you ready? Let's go. What English philosopher published the idea that people had natural rights such as life, liberty, and property, and that government must work to protect those rights? John Locke. That is correct. John Locke famously said that government can only happen with what? By the consent of the people and with a social contract. That is correct. What political concept that would become an important part of the U.S. Constitution came from French philosopher Baron de Montesquieu? Popular sovereignty. That is incorrect. You buzz it if you'd like. Separation of powers or checks and balances. Name one feature that is characteristic of the separation of powers feature of American government. Checks and balances between different branches. That is correct. Which figure of the Age of Enlightenment gave us the notion of common law, the idea that legal decisions should be based on similar decisions made in the past? English common law? No. No dice. <laughs> William Blackstone, William Blackstone. What did Thomas Jefferson describe as the most sacred of the duties of government? to provide justice. Who said injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere? Martin Luther King Jr. Correct. Name one act which may make a person ineligible to vote in Washington. A felony. That is correct. What is the meaning of ballot fatigue or drop off? That as a person votes down the ballot, they vote less and less because they are further down the ballot. That is correct. What do you call voters who will vote across party lines and are more open to persuasion by more than one party? Independent. Swing voters, swing voters. How does a town hall style debate differ from the traditional format with a moderator or panel of questioners? 
In a town hall style debate, the people provide the questions. That is correct. What philosopher and political economist called capitalism the dictatorship of the proletariat and believed it would eventually self-destruct and be replaced by communism? Karl Marx. Correct. And that wraps up this round, and we're going to get set up for the next round. The category round is coming up next. Welcome back. It's time for the category round. In this round, teams will answer questions from the following categories. The Second Continental Congress, Freedom of Religion, Women in Leadership, Applying for Citizenship, and Our State Legislature. Each category has five questions that increase in point value from 10 to 30. Teams will alternate choosing a category. You can pick any category, however you cannot jump ahead in point value. Points are deducted for wrong answers in this round. You will work together to answer each question. Now there's some strategy involved in this round. You can pass on a question, which means you can choose not to answer and no points will be deducted. You can also toss a question to the other team. The receiving team is then forced to answer that question and either win or lose the associated points. But you can only toss a question three times, so use them wisely. Let's remind everyone of the score. Community schools 110, Ferris 90. Okay, teams, if you're ready, let's begin. Ferris, take it away. Uh, let's go women in leadership, please. Women in leadership for 10. And here is U.S. Attorney Vanessa Waldruff with your video question. This category is near to my heart, as I am the first woman to serve as the U.S. Attorney for Eastern Washington. Here is your question. Who was the first woman Speaker of the House of Representatives? Uh, Nancy Pelosi. That is correct. The community school. We'll do applying for citizenship. Applying for citizenship for 10 points. What do we call the legal process by which a person can become a citizen of a country they were not born in? Naturalization. That is correct. Ferris, over to you. Uh, women in leadership for 15. Women in leadership for 15. Who was the first woman president of the Senate? Uh, Patty Murray. That is incorrect. The correct answer is Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Community school. Applying for, yeah. Applying for citizenship for 15. True or false, to apply for U.S. citizenship, an immigrant only needs to marry a U.S. citizen. False. That is correct. Ferris. Uh, let's go applying for citizenship, citizenship for 20. Name two requirements to become a naturalized U.S. citizen. Need an answer, please. Okay, a uh, permanent residence and a passing test score. That is correct. Community school, over to you. Applying for citizenship. Applying for citizenship for 25 points. Naturalized citizens can lose their citizenship involuntarily. What is this called? Need an answer. We'll toss that question. Okay. Toss to Ferris. Need an answer. Denaturalization. Denaturalization is correct, but it was after the buzzer. <laughs> and now over to Ferris. Um, let's go women in leadership. For women in leadership for 20. When did Kamala Harris become president of the U.S. Senate? Uh, January 2021. That is correct. Community school. Applying for citizenship. Applying for citizenship for 30 points. When is denaturalization allowed? Need 
We'll pass that question. Okay. Denaturalization is allowed by court order, by court order, or if it has been shown that the person became an American citizen by fraud or deception. Ferris, over to you. Uh, women in leadership for 25. Women in leadership for 25 points. Who became the first woman president pro tem of the U.S. Senate on January 3rd of this year? Patty Murray. That is correct. The community school. We'll do women in leadership. Women in leadership to finish this category. Patty Murray is a U.S. Senator from Washington State. How long has she served? We'll pass that question. All right. She served 30 years. Ferris. Um, let's go freedom of religion for 10. During Alexis de Tocqueville's visit from France in the early 1830s, what surprised the political philosopher about government officials in the U.S.? Uh, they weren't part of the church. That is incorrect. That religious officials were not also government officials. Community school. Uh, our, our state legislature. Our state legislature for 10. What are the lawmaking bodies in the state of Washington called? So it's a state legislature and it's the Senate and the House of Representatives of Washington State. That is correct. Ferris. Um, let's go freedom of religion for 15. Freedom of religion for 15. Article 6, Section 3 of the Constitution requires that federal and state officials take an oath of office to uphold the Constitution. What does that same law prohibit? Um, religious bias. That is correct. Great round, everyone. The points add up fast in this round. Let's check the score. Community School 145, Ferris 130. One round remains. The lightning round, it's coming up next. During the Great Depression, President Franklin D. Roosevelt launched many federal programs to provide jobs and develop the nation's resources. The 1930s saw a boom in massive public works projects, including several dams. Which dam, funded by Roosevelt's New Deal, is the largest dam in the United States today? A. Bonneville Dam B. Hoover Dam C. Fort Peck Dam D. Grand Coulee Dam Do you know the answer? Follow the QR code on your screen or go to ksps.org slash civicsbowl to submit your answer and be entered into a drawing to win a prize. The deadline to enter is Monday at noon. And please, you're on the honor system here. No Googling. We will contact the winner directly and let you all know the right answer next week on Civics Bowl. We're just one round from learning who will be the second team to advance to the semifinals in the Civics Bowl tournament this season. First, we have a scoring update. The judges have decided to accept Ferris' answer about separation of church and state. The score is now Ferris 150, Community School 145. In the lightning round, we'll put 90 seconds on the clock. This is your chance to answer as many questions as you can in that time. Each question is worth 20 points. Points are deducted for wrong answers. Your answer individually in this round, so no conferring is allowed. Okay, teams, are you ready? Here we go. What institution makes and enforces a society's public policies? David. The government. That is correct. What term describes the concept that every state or country has supreme and absolute power within its territory? David. Sovereignty. That is correct. Why are tribal governments exempt from the control that Washington State has over other units of local government within its borders? Maddie. Because they are sovereign governments within the country. That is correct. Approximately what percentage of bills and resolutions introduced in Congress actually become law? 10%. Tax bills must originate in which chamber of Congress? David. The House of Representatives. Correct. Spokane County is in which U.S. Congressional District? David. District 5. That is correct. True or false, when all Americans turn 18 years old, they are required to register for the draft through the Selective Service System. 
David. False. Correct. True or false, the Supreme Court has no involvement in foreign diplomacy. That is false. What is the name of the warning given by police to an arrested person informing them they have the right to remain silent? Miles. Miranda rights? Correct. Who was the most recognized leader of the civil rights movement? David. Martin Luther King Jr. Correct. True or false, citizens of the United States elect more people to public office than the voters of any other country on the planet? Maddie. False. True. What type of government is based on power being held by a small self-appointed and that wraps it up. And Community School 265, Ferris 170. Well done. Nice job, David. And that means that the Community School moves on to the semifinals. Congratulations. Now, we won't know who you'll face for a couple of weeks. It'll be either North Central or Central Valley. And thank you very much for being here. A great competition, and we look forward to seeing you all in the next couple of weeks and hopefully next season. So thank you all. Join us next week when Shadow Park High School and Liberty High School fight to advance in the Civics Bowl Tournament. We hope you enjoy playing along from home. See you next week. Civics Bowl is made possible by Eastern Washington University, Canopy Credit Union, the Avista Foundation, the League of Women Voters of the Spokane area and of Washington, and by viewers like you. If you are a regional school interested in taking part in Civics Bowl next year, we want to know. Go to ksps.org slash civicsbowl to fill out our online contact form.